peace and welcome to the Organa Art Family. It's time for evolution. We welcome you to the Organa Art Family. And did I just repeat myself? Anyway, so we're going to be talking about is it a issue if you're older? Is it too late to, to learn how to draw when you become older? Is it ever too late? And so when you think about the past, for example, the past in uh, during our times in elementary school, middle school and high school, those those days before we reach adulthood, we have a lot of time that we spend and many, many people during those times, they either spend those days uh, with, uh, you know, with with playing video games or chasing girls or chasing boys or uh, channeling all that 100% into their academics or, you know, or anything. The, the main point is that we had time, a lot of time, and it really does depend on which, which point of focus, which where, where's our attention being placed onto. And so when you go back to, the t to those times, I feel that it's rare to find somebody that has put 100% of uh, focus into their into their passions you know so let's say if it's an artist usually people you know like me for example like me for example I I was I was waiting to uh, go to college so that I can learn how to draw and so and I'm sure there are many people like that as well and so I feel that and I feel people who do hone in on their passions before going to college, focusing, doing their studies, challenging themselves. Uh, eventually, as they go to college, they be considered geniuses or, or talented, whatever label that's uh, assigned to them. And I feel that that's because of their uh, their focus at a much more uh, younger age or earlier age, which got them to that point. And so to give an example of the Korean artist known as Kim Jong-ji, is, so Kim Jong Ji is a popular artist who's able to recall the things that he draws from memory, and so he doesn't need to use a reference or he doesn't need to set any kind of foundation. So usually, you know, when you're drawing, you set some set, set a foundation such such as the, the sphere, the and and whatnot. He doesn't need to do that. And so at at, at a at a younger age, uh, he was uh, he was mainly he he knew his purpose, and he he drew every day. He drew art every day. And he was suffering academically, and so even though he was suffering ac academically, uh, his main focus was into his arts. And I'm sure he could have, uh, he could have, uh, you know, boosted those grades up if he wanted to. However, his focus was on the arts, even though his parents didn't really like where he was going. Uh, he was staying true to his purpose and his passion, and now he's he's like one of the. The, he's he's a he's a famous artist in the world, you know. And so, to get back to the question, are you ever too old to learn how to draw? The answer is no. And so, yes, there are people that have you know started earlier, or or and they are they've also like advanced. They may be more advanced because they've started earlier. However, if we get stuck into the the victim mindset that hey they started early, uh, there's no chance for me catching up or so or there's no chance for me getting better or so it shouldn't be some kind of competition to outbest the other person it should just be for the individual to get better than who you were yesterday and sometimes the people that we are comparing ourselves to uh they're they're not perfect you know they have their flaws you know they're still learning as and growing as artists so we shouldn't really see them and in, in, in <clears throat> in a, uh, a super high standard that we cannot reach or or we can or it's un un unachievable so, and so one thing to keep in mind is that you may have a there may be a new artists beginning artists you know in your in your college or so and there are also you know advanced artists and even if there are you know some really great artists uh in, in your college there are also people who who settle and they don't they don't learn they don't continue to learn they don't continue to study and although they may be they may have been uh, they may have had a really well start in their earlier days uh some somewhere along the line around college or so or freshman college 
their growth remains static and they continue to draw the same way because they're they they're not challenging themselves to you know research new techniques or so or so it's just the, their style isn't isn't evolving so to say and so if, if i were to go go to go from my example uh i've i've never had any any uh prior drawing experience until i went to freshman college so i didn't know any i did draw stick figures or you know very uh flimsy characters or so but however when i got to college i i this this was like my first time right and so i remember this one this one dude who who drew like super well in my eye but eventually i grew to to see that this person wasn't really challenging him, himself he was uh he was also like settling with his uh with his with his skill and whatnot and he would also take like very long breaks from drawing there, there wasn't uh, any growth or evolution within that person and when i see this person now who who uh like currently in my current state where i where i'm at now when i do see this person now he i we've had like a you know some some interactions and he was surprised as to how fast i grew like he saw my evolution as to where i was at in the beginning of freshman college as to where i'm at now you know he even asks for you know advice from me etc but the main the main thing to get out of this is that uh it doesn't matter if if uh they started if, if they start sooner or if they started earlier we have to as uh, as artists we have to keep on evolving keep on challenging ourselves and a lot of people a lot of the, the majority of people do not challenge themselves and the and the the minor the, the, minor, the artists that do that do challenge themselves are those uh, are those artists that we love on Instagram or uh, you know any other of these artistic sites. These are the these are the artists that challenge themselves constantly to get to where they're at now. They do they do their studies etc. They do they do their uh, their practice. So I feel if you're an older person, maybe in your in your uh, your forties or so, you have just as much of a chance to succeed compared to someone who's who, who has started earlier you know uh the main point to get out, get out of this is that to never rest on your laurels and to keep on challenging yourselves many people stop challenging themselves hence they, they stop growing and if you're an older person just keep on challenging yourself keep on evolving keep on keep on practicing keep on learning new things every day to expand your your drawing skills and i feel that you know older people they tend to be a lot more mature in their in their dedication and in their focus as well you know now i'm not saying this for for all older people but you know the i feel the majority tend to be a lot more mature you know and with, with their with their studies and so and their practices and uh there are there are some very young people who are also a lot more mature with their studies and their practices and be aware that when you do see that growth in your skill from from three to five years don't rest on your laurels never to rest on your laurels always keep looking for new ways to challenge your, challenge yourself look for ways to uh to improve yourself etc so if you're someone who's a lot older let's say you're you're in your your 40s or so then you know you'll see improvement when you'll see improvements when you're 45 when you're you know when you're drawing it doesn't have to it doesn't have to be from an earlier age you know and i know that you can do